Hi, this is Mrs. Nelson. We're looking at illustrative math for sixth grade. This is unit three, lesson 15, finding this percent of that. The objective states I can solve different problems like what is 40% of 60 by dividing and multiplying. Uh, we're looking at activity 15.2, audience size. A school held several evening activities last month, a music concert, a basketball game, a drama play, and literacy night. The music concert was attended by 250 people. How many people came to each of the other activities? Number one, attendance at a basketball game was 30% of the attendance at the concert. Let's make a T-chart here. So let's uh, put the number of people and the percentage. I guess I could have drawn a percent sign, but that's okay. So at the music concert, there were 250 people, which represented 100% of the people that went to the music concert. At the basketball game, um, there were 30% of the people in attendance, and we want to know how many people that is. So if I want to get to 30%, one thing I can do is I can take this 100% and break it down into 10%, because that's easily done by dividing by 10. And if I do that to the right-hand side of my table, I'm going to do the same thing to the left-hand side of my table. I'm going to divide it by 10 as well. So 10% of the people that were at the music concert is 25 people. So if I wanted to get to 30% from this point, then I would just take that 10% and multiply by 3. So there were three times as many people as 25 at that concert. So there were a total of 75 people at the basketball game. Attendance at a literacy night was 44% of attendance at the concert. So I could take what I have here in my table and I could try to figure out how I get, can I get to 44%. And one way that I can get to 44% is if I know the value of 1%. So if 10% is 25, then to get to 1%, I'm going to divide by 10 again. That would be 2.5 people. Now to go from 1% to 44%, I can multiply that by 44. 1 times 44 equals 44. So I can take 2.5% and multiply by 44, not 2.5%, but 2.5 people, and multiply by 44. So 44 times 2.5. 5 times 4 is 20. 5 times 4 is 20 again. With the 2 carried, that's 220. Put in a 0 to represent my place value. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 4 is 8 again. When I add those together, I have 0, 10, and 11. Um, so it looks like that we're 1,100 people at the literacy night, but that doesn't make sense because there were 250 people at the concert, and there were fewer people at the literacy night. So uh, one thing that I forgot is my decimal. I need to account for the place value of my numbers. So if I look at this as 50 times 2, the answer should be about 100. So I can confirm that my decimal should go there. So there were 110 people at the literacy night. That doesn't look very good. Let me erase that. 110 people were at the literacy night. Number two says attendance at the drama play was 140% of the attendance at the concert. So I'm going to erase some of this table right here. Give me some room. Uh, so if there were 140%, there was more than 100 people that were there. So I know that it's going to be greater than 250 people at the drama play. So again, if 100% is 250 and 10% is 25, well, if I wanted to get to 40%, I could multiply this by 4. 25 times 4 is 100. So 100% 100 of the people would be 250 people, but there are also another 40% of the people. So I would need to combine those two together. 250 plus 100, there were 350 people at the drama play. Again, our objective states, I can solve different problems, like what is 40% of 60 by dividing and multiplying. So you can see that I used my uh, unit rates table to divide and multiply to find other values for my percentages, um, increasing or decreasing those percentages as needed to get to 30%, 140%, and 44%. Thanks for watching.